हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ द सॉल्यूशन वीडियो फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 चैप्टर 5 एच वर्मा द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सेज द फोर्स ऑफ बायोन्सी एक्जर्टेड बाय द एटमोसफियर ऑन ए बैलून इज बी इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड रिमेंस कांस्टेंट द फोर्स ऑफ एयर रेजिस्टेंस ऑन द बैलून एक्ट्स अपोज टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ विलासिटी एंड इज प्रपोर्शनल टू इट द बैलून कैरीज ए मास एम एंड इज फाउंड टू फॉल डाउन नियर द अर्थ सर्फेस विद ए कॉन्स्टेंट विलासिटी वी How much mass should be removed from the balloon so that it may rise with a constant velocity v? So in this problem, there are two cases. First case is when the balloon is going downward direction with a constant velocity v, and second case is we have to remove some mass and then the balloon will go upward direction. Okay, so we will write the equation of motion in the two cases and we'll try to solve them. Fine. So in the first case, say this is a balloon. and there is a mass m so if i try to make a free body diagram of this uh, balloon so in that case this mg acting downward there is a force of buoyancy always acting in the upward direction and the force of air resistance is acting against the motion so in the first case the balloon is going downward so this is the motion and the force of air friction will be acting on the upward direction okay this motion is with the constant velocity v so that means the acceleration is zero if the acceleration is zero that means the net force acting on this balloon is zero okay so free body diagram of case 1 when balloon is moving downward direction okay so since it is moving with a constant velocity v so the acceleration is zero so that means the net force acting on this balloon is going to be zero that means this mg and b plus f will balance out each other okay so that means the first equation we will get is mg is equal to force of buoyancy plus force of air resistance fine so this is equation 1 in the second case so say this is case 1 and uh, the case 2 in the second case let a small mass m is removed from the balloon due to which it will move upward okay so in that case uh, let me draw the figure so this is the same balloon now the mass remains is capital m minus small m okay so there will be a force acting downward which is m minus m times g the force of buoyancy in this case also will act upward direction since we have removed some mass now the balloon will go in upward direction so the motion is in upward direction and the air resistance is always opposite to the direction of velocity so that means in this case the force of friction f will act downward direction okay so if i prepare fbd of case 2 so that means uh, say this is the m minus m so this is force acting downward force of friction is acting downward and the buoyancy force is acting in upward direction now in this case also the balloon will move with constant velocity that means the acceleration is zero if the acceleration is zero that means the net force acting on this balloon is zero that means these the upper forces and the downward forces will balance out each other so that means m minus m times g plus f is equal to b so this is equation number 2 now adding equation 1 and 2 adding equation 1 and 2 we will get now in this case if we add this f and f will cancel out each other okay and the entire equation will become 2 times m minus small m times g 
is equal to 2 times b. That means the small m is equal to 2m minus 2b upon g or the m is 2 times b upon g. So this is the solution of this problem.